Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market, and it's going to be my weekly forecast for 4th of July 2022. If you like support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, the like button, like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and all my trades and portfolios are available in the link down below. So we'll start by looking at WTI oil, and this market is looking much more unstable than it has been um, for a very, very long time. Probably main reason for this is the uh, is the worsening of the world economy, both in the United States and in Europe. Uh, central banks are increasing interest rates, and that will have a toll on most economies in order to um, get inflation under control. And therefore, uh, uh, therefore there will be demand destruction, and going forward, there will not be as much production as there has been uh, in recent years and therefore the demand for oil should basically drop and the price should drop as well so that's kind of probably what we're seeing at this point so we did hit uh, 13.95 dollars per barrel ended up at 108.38 dollars per barrel and did drop below the 20 simple moving average but we do have a crossing here of the MACD. We also have the stochastic that's flat and the RSI is flat. So if we, we drop, drop below this candlestick, and then we may drop towards the $100 per barrel and drop it below that, that opens the door to the 50 moving average all the way down here at $88.84 per barrel. And if it really gets bad in the world economy and things really starts to slow down, then we may be looking at something similar to what we saw back in 2008. So if we, there's less um, demand or demand destruction can look something similar to this. It can really fall off a cliff. It went from $147 all the way down towards $33 in roughly half a year. So um, in a half a year's time, we there will most likely be less production in the world, less, less demand for oil, and this could be dropping significantly. On the other hand, if we take out the highest year of $140 per barrel, then we may, we may go back to the top of 123 and then beyond that. But at this current stage, United States economy is slowing down, Europe economy is slowing down, and and uh, Asian economies are not doing uh, very well either. So, yes, it's going to be interesting to see what happens going forward. So this is one of the, is basically the last commodity that is holding on. Everything else has basically been falling off a cliff, and therefore it would be fairly strange if this, is if this uh, weren't to do the same thing. So. Market that did really fall off a cliff is natural gas. You can look at copper, you can look at it basically at corn, wheat, and so on. Everything is basically dropping. But natural gas went from uh, $9.6 all the way down to the 50 moving average at $5.3. Uh, $5 and yes, it basically has lost nearly half of its value in only three weeks. It bounced from the 50 moving average. We may see a technical bounce up towards the 20 simple moving average before going lower. But breaking below the 50, well, that opens the door all the way down to roughly $4, 3.6 in give or take. Basically, to the very bottom here, 3.6, that is probably where we'll head up. If we look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, with a lot of room to the downside. If we were to rally from here, then it would probably be the Fibonacci retracements that we'll look at. And at this current stage, we have the 30, um, 38.2 is there here at 7, 50 is 7.5, and 61.8 is at, area, at 8. I doubt that we'll get to that point uh, after this um, uh, massive pullback or breakdown. Um, but basically we'll see if we do then these are probably the areas we'll find where basically buyers will come, sellers will come back in and sell us the downside it probably won't be until october november uh, uh, when the colder months start to hit 
that demand will basically pick up and we'll see uh, those uh, rallies that we usually see in the colder periods of the year basically here also here and so on but uh, if Europe starts buying natural gas from the United States then yes this is probably something that will continue to happen going forward so hope you found this helpful you always support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos good luck and thank you very much